Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to The Witcher 3 where I am dog sitting today. So we'll see how well, how smoothly this goes. Uh, because currently my dog is trying to play with the soccer ball in my closet. So, that's exciting. Um, uh, oh, and there was, okay, so if we go back home, people did tell me how and where to... <laughs> You hear him? The soccer ball is stuck, mm. apparently. <coughs> Actually, no, something nearly fell on him, so he's barking at it. Shh, <laughs> nobody cares. Um, anyway, so... I know how to put my stuff in my house now. Also, there was a quest somebody mentioned in the far... Northeast corner up in this area Which I'm pretty sure well actually it might be Because it said there was you know the river goes south and there's a bend east, but it looks like there's actually It's on the southern bank, but it looks like there's two rivers that do that um, but I thought we were up in this corner. I thought that was where the cool geography was, but that might not be the case. Um, let's fast travel up there, maybe. Let's see, I think, there it is. Yeah, sorry if I'm a bit distracted. Actually, no, we're gonna go home first. And then, what's this? Oh yeah, okay. Um, okay, interesting. Where's my house? Corvo Bianco. Because I have a statue I can put up. And I actually do want to see how much, um... How much I still have to get. Yeah, you could chew on that. I have a giant elk shed in my room. And the giant Newfoundland's pretty interested in it. You probably couldn't chew it. You probably shouldn't chew on that, rather. Hello, giant mountain dog. That's trying to knock my chair over. Actually, she's trying to go under my chair. Um. Okay, now I don't know. I thought somebody said it was in front of the cellar. Oh, they're here. Great. I don't want it. I don't want it. Get it out. This is gross. All right, guy, how much does it cost to upgrade the house? How might I be off surface, sir? This giant newbie's trying to fit under my Starting chair. to really like this place. Maybe we should keep going, refurbish some more. What do you think, BB? As you wish, sir. Shall we see to the house or the grounds this time? House? Been thinking about the outer walls. Maybe a fresh coat of paint or some patching. If I might dare to make a suggestion dare. why not start with a general renovation uh-huh not only did the residents positively sparkle up can i do it it's in your hands then oh make the place shine i shall get to work immediately within a day's passing i shall have sent for the crew which rebuffed the admiral's residence they are the finest specialists around uh -huh. highly skilled at what they do it shall not take them too long i wager Two days Jeez. after they begin, your eyes will behold your residence in its refurbished, rejuvenated, beautified state. Do I have like a hundred gold anything, coins left? Anything else you require, sir? Uh, well, how much is the grounds? Got Let's these spacious grounds. Oh, yes. The way I see things, given your trade, sir, you would be wise to put in a grindstone and an armorous table. A good way to start things off, don't you think? That's it. In 
my trade, my blades get dull pretty quick. Could use a grindstone, professional grade. Of course. No one would consider that an unnecessary extravagance, I would wager. I have less than a thousand coins. Mm. You know what? Might not be the best. Ponder the notion, however. Oh my gosh, why is this dog... Why is this Remember dog trying to fit under my, to. my, my the entire desk? I am here to surf whenever you desire. Mega distracted! Okay, well, we've got the house renovations. Go I have 84 coins left. <laughs> Time to get some money! Also, someone did point out that I uh, should probably just even pick up the swords because I can sell them, but I just, it's such a pain. Okay, well, maybe I'll go sell what I've got currently, and I can go repair as well. So that'll be cool, though. I didn't realize I had enough for that. Like, this dog is not going to fit under my desk, but it's making a valiant effort. Let's see, now we have to go to... What? Dog, are you stuck or something? Come on out! Get out! You're fine! Just stay right there! She's like as big as my desk, there's no way. Just sit right there. No, it wasn't the tourney grounds. Where was it? Was it here? Yeah. This one? I think so. Yes. She wants to go home. This big newfie, she wants to go home. She misses her mom. But you are not going to fit under there, darling. Neat, neat, though. I didn't, I'm didn't. i glad I at least get to upgrade the house. We'll see what the grounds look like. I don't look at the, the grounds very much. To our domains, rit and rot in chains. What, 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 what? Oof. Did I go the wrong way? pull one over no. on me, Witcher. I oh. can see you're a killer. Uh-huh. What you mean? I'm glad you're open 24-7. Greetings. I hope your search goes... Indeed. What do you have on offer? Let's sell... Oh, wow. Making back loads of money. Eh, uh, yeah, let's just sell that. Why not? Look at that! We're doing great! I should even- I should honestly sell some of these. There's no way I'm gonna use them all. Look at that! Jeez. And then we will repair everything. Let's just repair it all. Wow. A significant chunk, but wow. He has so much money. It's insane. You're, I'm literally keeping this guy in business. Like, that's why he's open 24-7. Just for me. Because I literally, that's all he needs is me to keep him in business. Lucky man, lucky man. Hmm, hmm, hmm. See about fast traveling up to that one area too. Or er, not fast traveling. We're gonna have to run, but we'll get as close as we can. Long live Duquesa Anna Henrietta. Uh huh. Oh, I was like, what's that mark? I have not been up here. Interesting. 
Interest. Okay, is this what's written on the sign there? The nobly born Sir Roderick. We can pick up whatever treasures in this, under this bridge, probably. Being watched by trolls. Was it over here? Yeah, this was. I this was. I went over there, didn't I? No. Maybe not. Oh, there are literally trolls. I was thinking it was gonna be the water guys, but it's actually trolls. Oh, I thought that maybe I could talk to them. It doesn't look like I can talk to them. Okay. So I have not been up here. Okay. Let's see. They are elementals. Which are... Yeah. And I still have my potions on. So I should be good. If I can remember how to fight. Making him bleed? Yucky. Whoa. My controller just vibrated. Brother, enough of this hesitation, this fretting, these feelings of guilt. Liam Coronada pays you practically nothing, and you've got a family to feed. So do as I say. Load up the cart with barrels of that new spiced wine in the night, quiet as a mouse, haul it away from the estate. Head northwest, and when you cross the stream, you'll find men waiting for you. Give them the barrels. They must be desperate to get this wine, because merely as down payment, they've handed me a pleasantly heavy pouch. Just be careful, because a pair of those vile rock trolls hunt the Blesher Valley. How trolls end up there, you ask? They were imported for the tourney, for knights to battle for the crown's amusement. Thing is, they fled the transport and began slaughtering their way across the land, and nobody, like, stopped it? Hide the share of the down payment I've sent, because if someone finds you with that kind of coin, they'll start asking questions, and our business will end quicker than it began. My advice, Barry, and a pile of dung, no one will work there. Coin doesn't stink. Okay. Ooh, green armor day. Money. I feel bad for the guy. Did not work out well for him. Oh, can I loot? Oh, wow. I would say probably one of my favorite things in this game is the water. It's just so dang pretty. Okay. Wait, no, no, no. Let's make sure we're going in the right direction. I'm not. I need to go way further. I mean, I could hop over here and see what's up. I'll just cross. I'll just swim across the water here. Right? I have to... Yeah, I'm gonna have to cross the water at some point, so... Might as well do it now. These, uh, these look cool. These, like, stones or tree stumps? I don't know. I thought this was the area we'd just gotten into, but I guess not. Um, that's nice, so I'm glad. I should probably take the earth sign armor away. At least, you know, take it off my face. Damn, it's annoying. Got a feeling I'm forgetting about something. Okay. Am I going. What? Okay. Um. 
so I can't go to whatever these cool stone things are. Why is the map so big? Like... Like, why did it stop me right there? When there's obviously stuff up past this. Like there's a freaking boat. That was weird. A long track requires a fellowship. Ought to couple one together. Okay. I guess I'll try to go up the road. I don't know. I'll go up on the other side. I get. I mean, I can always check the other bend that I was looking at, but. Now I'm just a little bit curious why they'd make it so big, but not, not let you go that way. When you can like obviously go past that point. Like, we're past that point at this point. So if I can go... I don't know. I don't know. It might actually not be up here. I might be heading towards a no-man's land. Well, we'll get a look over here and see if there's anything. Rose. Give her the old gander. abandoned but a lot of this damage is recent guess I arrived just a little too late should look around still trading post uh, one sec hmm <laughs> my mom's like super worried about the dog I'm babysitting Beware the white terror, danger zone, do not enter. Any losses of life or property will be compensated by Count Boris de Salvaris. Uh, she, looks like she says I th thinks I can't take care of this dog. Says a great white terror on the contract. Could be the same damn beast as in the notice, though. What notice? Man, bled to death. Big beast inflicted these wounds. Clear from the claw marks. Must have a toothy smile, too, judging by what ripped his throat open. Oh my gosh. Just, just leave me alone, every dogs, people. Hush, I'm playing the game. Um oh, something else? Oh, the foot footprints? Oh wow. Signs of a fight. Paw prints, beastly ones, that's clear. All right. Just on this spot, though. Mm. Oh. A real attack. Must have been. So they're not a... Gotta be. Yeah. Maybe a basilisk. Except these prints don't belong to any variety I know. Just a little different. <laughs> the cat spelled it. A little different. Uh-oh. Oh, hi. Area's dangerous. I'd say there's a basilisk nesting around here. It'd be wise to remain at some distance. Yes, I'm familiar with the matter. And quite proud to say a basilisk does nest here. I look after it personally. Look after it? It's not exactly a pet. Beasts murdering folk who come through here. Just a minute. It does not murder those who do not trespass upon its territory. You post those warnings? Indeed. To prevent anyone from coming to any harm. Well, a lot of good they did. Got a freshly mangled corpse right here. Most likely a merchant, the poor bloke. 
Just today, I learned two traders had chosen this route despite the signs. I came as quick as I could to warn them. Too late, alas. I've instructed my servants. They shall take the body, return it to the family with a generous sum as recompense. What? Hmm. Pay the victim's family's compensation? Why? These lands have been my family's for decades, granted to us by Duchess Ademarta. Beyond them, the basilisk ventures not, hunts not, it does not kill or destroy. Provided it is not provoked. Yet if it does destroy, if it kills, I compensate all for the loss from my own coffers. <laughs> Your coffers? Got a store of sons and husbands in there to compensate for those shredded by your beast? Naturally, I cannot revive the dead, but I do make generous restitution to their loved ones. Just last summer, I paid a leather tooler's widow 800 crowns. This unfortunate merchant's family to be duly indemnified as well. Hmm. Claim this to be the last surviving basilisk? How do you figure? The last of this subspecies. Their population was much larger at one time, see? Before the beech forests were felled. Mean to suggest a direct correlation between beechwood forest density and basilisk populations? Indirect, I prefer to contend. Beechwood forests are the chief habitat of roe deer, you see. In turn, a staple of the basilisk diet. This is interesting. When roe deer grew scarce, basilisks made humans their staple food. Enter the witchers. And thus, we've come to this one last specimen. It's a female. As recently as last year, we still had two. But your cast's mate passed on, alas. Your cast? Should she not have a name? My father dubbed her in honor of my dear departed mother. Your cast was brooding then. Two eggs. That she cast from her nest, alas, when the male perished. Oh. Who exactly are you? And how do you develop such an interest in the beast? Count Borges, happy to be of service. As to the beast, well, this subspecies is our dynastic symbol. The Desalteresses have for centuries signed with the Regulus Platinum. As family legend has it, a female of the species rescued an ancestor, a boy at the time, from a burning building. She took the tyke back to her nest, where she fed him as <laughs> if he were one of her own youngsters. Malarkey. To be sure, but beautiful malarkey it is. Ah. Okay, so this guy, so this is actually an interesting conundrum, right? Like, this this animal is literally, if it, what he says is true and it does not go past the boundaries and the guy, like, post signs and everything, like, and people are stupid enough to ignore them, um, is it the basilisk's fault that it's just doing what it's, like, designed to do? Like, it's defending its territory. Like, it's not hunting to kill humans like it's obviously living in an area with humans and not murdering them all the time it's just it's just killing the ones that are like invading and not and going where they're not supposed to um i mean it's like encroaching on like a snow leopard's territory and getting mad that you that like you know my husband was killed it's like yeah that sucks like like really does like but you shouldn't have gone there like the animal was there first but then it's like you know, do you weigh human life more than, like, an animal's life? You know, obviously not, you know? Like, and this guy, he's compensating, sure. But it's not going to bring back a life. It's not going to bring back that husband, you know? So, I don't know. I, I, it's a difficult conundrum where it's like the animal was there first. Decent warnings have been put in place, you know? And if you ignore those, you die. But it's still obviously a threat. Do you kill it or do you let it live? in its own little area, you know? I don't know. That's kind of, I don't know. Like, it feels like a disservice. Like, it feels like it's not the right thing to do to kill an animal. It's just protecting its territory when there are act like, it's not just like people are just stumbling upon it, too. They're literally looking at the signs and going, I'll be fine, and then dying. 
so... I don't know. Where's the basilisk nesting? Any idea? Of course I have an idea. But you don't really expect me to tell you. Those are not toy swords. I know your intentions. Find it myself, then. Easy to track with its distinct paw prints. Mentioned two merchants. So I might also look for the other corpse. Silver Basilisk. Uh... Geralt always liked looking at things that don't exist, be it a vampire with a human heart, or the last basilisk of a species that no scholar has classified. Discovering something thought not to be there to be discovered... Discovering something thought not to be there to be discovered caused him great pleasure. That is why I took an interest in a contract which at first glance seemed banal but proved to be very intriguing. It concerned the last basilisk of a nearly extinct species, Regulus Platinum. Oh, I see. Okay, Platinum, yeah. I don't really want to kill it. Like, especially it being, like, the last of its species. Like, it's gonna die. It doesn't have a mate. doesn't have any kids. Like, it's just gonna die on its own. But it seems like a, such a waste, like, to kill a creature such as this. You know, like, I don't know, maybe it's... In Dragon Age, they talk about, like, I think Morrigan is the one who's, like, you know, that killing the dragons is a great disservice to the world. Like, you lose something in the world when you kill such magnificent magical creatures, you know? So, I mean, just let it be. I kind of want to, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, where are we? Uh, no. Blech. Wait, it should be under Witcher contracts. No? Treasure hunt? Right. Merchant Guild. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. I only happened upon the body of one merchant. This basilisk was also the quarry of a small company of Crinfrid Reavers? Spoilers! It's a trading post. There's gotta be stuff here I can loot. Oh. Strange. These burn marks. Beast venom. Oh. Subspecies must be highly toxic. It is so indeed. A wound from a sterling basilisk festers long. Need to brew a potion that'll neutralize that. Okay. How how so? Geralt. Basilisk Dunk? scales are usually thicker, not nearly so fine. Could be more sensitive to fire, this one. Alas, it is true. Your cast has a terrible fear of fire. She's a highly sensitive creature. Rid your mind of any thought to kill her. You would destroy the last of a species. But it's Geralt's job to kill monsters that are killing people, you know? So it's like, eh. Busted barrels. Contents spilled all over. Must have been tannin in there. Oh, yeah, Used look at to it. treat leather. Beast smashed the barrels. That's how the scent got on the scale. Yo, Coco is so very curious. Strong scents especially intrigue her. The barrels, they must have drawn her in. Drawn her to the caravan. Busted barrels slimed with venom. Hallmarks of an attack. Basilisk must have caught the second victim here. Anyway, got two scents. Venom and tannin. Ought to be enough to track the beast. Why track her at all? Your cast is protected. Her death would forever destabilize the ecosystem. Who knows what would happen? I see unforeseeable consequences down the line. Simply refrain from provoking her. Harm her not, and she too will leave you untouched. I've long suspected they do it on purpose. 
sent their goods. They seek to lure the Basilisk to destroy their wares. It allows them to demand compensation from their assurers. Ah. That is a distinct possibility. What? Oh. Oh, hoorah. Florence. Like a rake. Is there a scent trail I'm following? This is like the area that's highlighted. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's hard to see. Odors dispersed. Seems to be everywhere. Basilisk must be high in the sky. Blood stains. Clear as day. Um. Do I. I mean, can I brew this? Didn't say crack the potion, but but there you be. Where's it at? It was like a triangle-shaped bottle. I mean, I do have that, so it's like, I don't really care about poisons. Is it... I mean, if I knew where it was... Cleansing mixture. It's in the other category? Maybe it's not something that I actually use. It's something I can use to cure something. Because I've made it. Weapons, armor, oils, potions, balm, food, drink, quest item, other. Oh, wait, no. It's end of quest items. There it is. Alright. I got it. So the sense dispersed, but whatever the body she carried was dropping sense blood. perceptible again. Oh yeah, I don't see it. Oh, I see it. She dropped the body. Just as I expected, second victim, but relatively unscathed. Basilisk must have been dragging him back to its nest for later. Dropped him for some reason. Wonder why. Cooper's Guild contract. Dear Gaston, in reply to your question regarding the planned transport route for the barrels of tannin, allow me to confirm the official itinerary supported by the guild still goes through the lands belonging to Count de Salvaras. The board sees no reason to deviate from our traditional path. The Count has pledged to cover all eventual damage caused by the Grey White Terror, so in the case of the destruction of the entire cargo, the guild will suffer no monetary losses. No monetary losses. <laughs> so yeah, so the guild... So these merchants maybe didn't want to go through, but the guild itself obviously doesn't care anything about the people it sends out here to die. Hello? I mean, it tells me to look around in this area, but I'm thinking... Oh, okay. 
like I hear them. Somewhere over here. Probably There's something, the but it's no basilisk screech. They're Human voices. To get close enough that I don't trigger them, but I can listen. They built a trap for her. Hi. Yamo, Ari, prepare the equipment. Beast wandered off somewheres. We got to lure it back. Hi. And who might you be? Funny. About to ask you the same. They call us the Reavers. Do they? Reavers? Wouldn't happen to hail from Crinfrid, would you? Aye, we do. But how's it you know? And again, who the hell are you? Geralt of Rivia. I'm a witcher. Know your brethren in arms. Bohold, Kennet and Desbert, new boy too. Ah, you're that witcher. Aye, Bohold mentioned you. Said you swing a mean sword. A professional. Good, you came along. Could take on the brute together. Talk is the venom something horrifying. Uh oh. Could use another pair of hands. Feed what we've gotten from the guild. We'll share it fair and square. You in? Gentlemen, this hurts my ears and pains my heart. You aim to kill your cast? It cannot be. The creature is protected. If you fear to lose the guild's reward, I shall repay it and reward you doubly to leave the beast be. You cannot slay the last living specimen of a near extinct subspecies. Willing to pay, are you? Long as we do nothing? That's rather novel. What say you to that, master? As far as I know, beasts culled the human race by five already. <sighs> I'm probably gonna regret this. Basilisk lives for now. We're not gonna kill it. A witcher defending a beast. Ever seen that, lads? You like them peaches? Ah, No scrapping with filth today, it seems. But, but... You made some mention of coin, as I recall. I did indeed. And the word once given. Are you trying to just carry a pouch, massive pouch of coins? Your share, would ya? Oh. <laughs> Easiest job I've ever done. Godspeed, Witcher. Strange working with you. Strange, but nice. I, I, okay. <laughs> Godspeed, boys. I mean, that worked out pretty well, as far you as I can tell. your cast. I thank you. And be assured, I'll take great care she not dine on any other souls. Gotta try harder. Figure out a way to keep folk out of this area. That I shall do. Master, you must accept more, be it a symbolic sum. Had you not come along, the reefers would surely have slain my Yokast. Sure. I need money. Thanks. Your cast has flown her nest. Must have sensed a threat. Likely to return eventually, though. She'll return. Always does. I suspect I might even know where she's gone. I tracked her away and believe she might have found a new mate. It's an ordinary basilisk, not a silvery one. But something might come of it. Who knows? <laughs> Your cast could lay new eggs, perhaps produce an entirely new crossbreed. Well, that might sure not be good. Not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but still, I think yeah. It, I mean, it said it in the. It said it in the in the like the the notes of the quest that Garrow likes to discover things that not even scholars have discovered, things that shouldn't exist but do. You know, 
Like, I think, and in the books, I kind of got that impression, too, just a little bit, anyway, that, like, I don't know, he, he hesitates sometimes to kill monsters because he's in a unique position as a witcher to, like, see what we call, like, you know, monsters that are just, like, creatures that do what they were born to do, basically, whereas, like, humans can commit depravities that monsters cannot even fathom, you know? So... There are times where humans are the monsters, and the monsters are just being human. However you want to read that. <laughs> but yeah, I guess I'll call that one here. That was quite interesting. I do I'm level 47 now. Jeez. Um, I guess I've got... Probably got some of these points I could do something with, but... I mean, that's pretty cool. And that does... Right. I mean, that's pretty cool. Also. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't use that one. But this one requires having this one unlocked. But, yeah. That was a cool one. I don't think that was even... That wasn't even the one, uh... I'm pretty sure. No, not even close to where I was told to go. <laughs> but we... Because that's right, because we were trying to find our way up and across, maybe, but... It might not work out that way. I might have to run back and do it, um... On the... This one, maybe? Or, I don't know, maybe it was in this area. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll just wander. But yeah, thank you guys again for joining me. I appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one.